You just got to make the right pass. Kobe Ayate with the last bucket for North Carolina Central. Top side, Frederick, 4-3. And Frederick did a great job. He fed the post, and then he relocated. Second meeting between these two programs. They played in 2017. It was a 91-60 win for Iowa. And Luka Garza's got that in his arsenal, too, Jess. You're told to keep him off the glass, try to double-team him on the post. And, oh, by the way, big fella, get out on the perimeter and guard him from the NBA range. Look at the, the range. And look, Chris, it... It only took him three and a half years to, to break the record. It took me six, so he's a <laughs> lot better player. You see him doing well. And happy birthday, Coach. I would sing happy birthday to you, but uh, I'm not sure I would go over very well. <laughs> the attention at 55 in yellow brings. He has gravity attention for a big guy as good as we've seen. And this, this dude can flat outstroke it. Kessler reached over. He couldn't come up with a ball against Garza. Lead is eight. Oh, not anymore. They turned up the heat in the run game. They go trap Bohan and force him to give it up. Frederick got the flyby, and Frederick knocks it down to end the first half. Boy, they miss that thing eye high. Sells it. Watch the sell. Boom. That is a sell in the sidestep three. Rotation. <laughs> Lead is 10 for Iowa, seven minutes to go. Illinois Duke coming next. Close one in Lawrence earlier. Ball go ahead and rips it. That is beautiful. The zone has really affected Iowa State. It's kept them on the perimeter and stagnated them, and this is going in. Now, you called it, right, I mean, <laughs> right on cue. Look at I mean, him. This dude is on fire. Well, they drew the switch, and they found the mouse in the house. Jordan Bohannon stuck on the block, and McCoy took advantage of it. Three ball, and it goes for Jordan Bohannon. Believe it or not, probably, according to teammates, would win the game of horse on this Iowa team. There it is. And right on cue. Gillis has hit his last 11 field goal attempts. First one tonight. Garza, the three. That falls. The answer from Luca Garza. He's got 13. Coming up on two and a half to play. Bohannon leaves for Garza. Frederick hacking it out to Bohannon. The three for Bohannon is good. That is number 300 in his career. Contact, no call there. Frederick hits the three. Jeffrey was waiting for that the entire time. He was totally ready for Liam Robbins to put it on the floor. Here's Frederick. Got the three. And the Gophers up seven. Frederick. Good. Bohannon, 15 tonight. Seven to shoot. Bohannon will launch the deep three. Jordan Bohannon, Hawkeye fan. Double team comes. Nine to shoot. Bohannon. He's got 18 tonight. Three to shoot. Bohannon. The three is good again. Bohannon. You've been. I mean, this is great defense by Northwestern. That's just a playground move. Flip it up there. From Evanston and Niles North High School, but Maryland. Uh, one of the couple Big Ten teams that really got shortchanged by a possible run in the tournament as Iowa's got another three. Man, that is a heck of a story right there. Nunji blocked by Robbins. Here's Wieskamp. This could be a dagger, and it is. Taking these shots in these critical situations. Wies Camp, nice kick out from Nunji. Pete Nance, small ball center for Northwestern. Tough matchup, no question about it. Catching fire, Wies Camp at Rattles home. Maybe something you could take a page out of. <laughs> I Billy. don't relate to being mature, I understand that. Some of us carry ourselves like a fourth grader. Jumper goes for Nunji on the outside. You're not ringing the bell with any efficiency. McCaffrey. Wieskamp, rainbow three. Six on the shot clock, McCaffrey harassed on the edge by Adam Miller. 
He'll have to launch the three, and he hits with one to shoot. Connor McCaffrey with the three. Watch McCaffrey come off. See his feet, and then he, he gets squared back up, gets it off in time. It's a big shot. Iowa shooting 64%, Illinois 82% from the floor. McCaffrey in the corner. That three is good. Count it and a foul. Let's take a look. Curbelo gets sucked down into the paint. And you know what? It, it, man, this is great to see two traditional post players going at it. Miller in the corner. That three tipped around. I don't think Steve Peichel, and, and, and honestly, I think Iowa's gotten good shots too. I think both coaches would say we're, we're good in quality looks, but we've got to knock them down. And Joe Wieskamp doing it right there. Shot clock at three. Here's Murray. Out to McCaffrey. straight in a zone. Murray, freshman, very talented. He's going to be a winner for Iowa in years to come. Shot clock winding down three. Bam! At that point, they were 2-7 and seven in the conference. First time since the 1969-70 season. I was just saying, well, you can do it, Garza. I can do it, too. Just not as long. sets the screen, wastes no time. He's Are you serious? Trip. Are you serious, Luca? 17 already in the first half for Luca Garza. As Mr. Garza stepping out, showing that great touch, great follow through, great release. Nine rebounds and wins over Rutgers and Michigan State. They get it into Garza. And a long three. That was knocked down. And let's see if that ends the half. A chance from midcourt. Trice launches one. That's no good. In control for the most part, despite the body being out of control. Just couldn't get that one to fall. He's camped to Frederick. Another three for Frederick. He has eight points out of the gate. Wieskamp has Seth Lundy guarding him here. Wieskamp short. Garza volleyballs it up and stares it. Kicks it out for a Connor McCaffrey three and a foul. Have been big for the Hawkeyes. Garza, good in traffic rebound, immediately looks to the arc. Wieskamp, that's a three. And it's good. It's been all Joe Wieskamp for Iowa in the first four minutes of the second. Yeah. Luka Garza, the leading scorer in the country, averaging nearly 25 a game. Late in the clock, what a shot by C.J. Frederick. First points in the second half. Well, C.J. Frederick with the, the clock winding down has to hoist it up. Just drills it. When Marble played for Iowa, and of course, Fran coached Marble's son, Devin Marble. So, Fran said the, the, the one thing he would have wished more than anything is that Roy Marble could have been present. Aren't shooting it at 46% from downtown. Toussaint tried the shake and bake. Kick. Luca Garza, a three. Well, we talked about his work habits. He worked in the offseason on making this one a little nylon by the big fella. Whew. To be a lot more creative when you have talents like that on the offensive and defensive end as Bohannon walks up and calmly strokes the three. Thank you, Jordan Bohannon, as we talk about you. By the Big Ten Network to step up like this. We get to watch those greats go at it. Look at the answer, Joe Wieskamp with the three. Iowa's got the range early. That's six made three-pointers in this first half for the Hawkeyes. Bohannon with four threes tonight. Garza launching from deep, and for Luca Garza, his first three. 43-23. Luca Garza can play inside, can play outside. Sometimes the issue is when you have a teammate that goes down, emotionally you're thinking about that. You know, it's hard to keep your mind in the game, but they have to do that right now. Now the Badgers in action, and Garza getting involved on defense with the rejection of Davis. Oh, they left Bohannon for three, and it's good! Use his versatility on the perimeter. Trying to post oh, him up. forget it. Look at the screen by Garza. Gives that kid magic in those fingertips, Bohannon. And push his dad, Joel. Oh, oh, played the Puerto Rican Olympic team. I'm sure he's taught him a lot of those little... Bohannon can't leave him. Must have an awareness on him at all times. 3.45 left. 
Oh, Hannon. How about that spin? <laughs> this kid, Moxie. Good, there's a little spin dribble. Garza with one more rebound. This game comes to an end. Will count. Make somebody happy. <laughs> Eight rebounds. Here's Wieskamp at the horn. A little kiss. Oh, for you, Raph. How about that? A little sweetness at the end of the game. Two very good basketball teams. Illinois maybe a little deeper, healthier.